So, this is it. The last day of Jurassic June. Yay. I really liked making this video. I really liked making these videos. Uh, but they were really hard to make. I couldn't even like post them daily. I couldn't. I, I had just been very occupied. And because when I started this series, I still had 20 days left of school. Yeah, and, and some things that I and my family wanted to do, so yeah. But after 60 videos, I decided to take a little break from the dinosaur content and do some Godzilla related content because I do have some Godzilla video ideas. So for this last video of Jurassic June, this is all of the Fast Jurassic Fact episodes. Maybe you missed some, but here are all of the Fast Jurassic Fact videos, episodes here. And you want to stay tuned till the end because I have to tell you guys something. Something sweet, something good. So stay tuned for that. And I see you guys to the end of the video. Fast Jurassic Fact, huh? Episode 1 The Allosaurus. The Allosaurus is an extinct genus of large carnosaurian theropod dinosaur. It lived 165 to 145 million years ago during the late Jurassic period. The name Allosaurus means different lizard, alluding to its unique concave vertebrae. The first fossil remains that could definitively be ascribed to this genus were described in 1877 by famed paleontologist host Neil Charles Marsh. Its skull was light, robust, and equipped with dozens of sharp serrated teeth. Its three-fingered hands were small and the body was balanced by a long, muscular tail. The Allosaurus could grow up to 10.5 meters in length, but some specimens could reach 12 meters in length. It had a height of 4.5 meters and weighed 1.5 to 2 tons. Fast Jurassic Fact, huh? Episode 2, The Stegosaurus. The Stegosaurus is a genus of herbivorous, four-legged armored dinosaur from the late Jurassic. Its name means roof lizard. The Stegosaurus usually grew to a length of about 6.5 meters, but some reached 9 meters. It had a height of 4.3 meters and a weight of 5.5 tons. The Stegosaurus had big bony plates on its back that weren't attached to its vertebrae, but were attached to its skin and they were probably used to regulate body temperature. The Stegosaurus had its tail held high in the air with four spikes on the tip that were most likely used for defense. And it had the smallest brain being the size of a walnut. Fast Jurassic Fact Huh? Episode 3 The Diplodocus The Diplodocus was a genus of diplocid sauropod dinosaurs whose fossils were first discovered in 1877. The Diplodocus lived in what is now Midwestern North America. The Diplodocus had a length of 28 meters and a height of 4.6 meters at the hips. The Diplodocus weighed at only about 30 tons, which was a lightweight among the sauropod dinosaurs. The Diplodocus had a very long tail and it was used to defend against predators. The Diplodocus could whip his tail at supersonic speeds of 100 km per hour. Fast Jurassic Fact huh? Episode 4 The Rampharynchus The Rampharynchus is a genus of long-tailed pterosaurs in the Jurassic period. The Rampharynchus was about 57 meters long and had a wingspan of 86 centimeters. The largest known specimen of Rampharynchus measures 1.26 meters long with a wingspan of 1.81 meters. The Rampharynchus had a long skull and large eyes with the nostrils being set back on the beak. Its teeth were slanted forward and interlocked and were probably used to eat fish. Its body was short and each thin wing membrane stretched from a long forked finger. The Rampharynchus hunted by dipping its snout into the lakes and rivers of the late Jurassic Europe and scooping up ringled fish and possibly frogs and insects. Fast Jurassic Fact, huh? Episode 5, The Dilophosaurus. 
Elaphosaurus is a genus of tripod dinosaurs that lived in what is now North America during the early Jurassic about 186 million years ago. At about 7 meters in length, 1.5 meters in height, and a weight of 400 kilograms, Elaphosaurus was one of the earliest largest predatory dinosaurs and the largest known land animal in North America at the time. The Elaphosaurus bore a pair of high, thin, and arched crests longitudinally on the skull. The crests began as lower ridges on the permaxillae and were mainly formed by the upwards expanded nasal and lacrimal bones. The skull and jaw design of the Dilophosaurus is somewhat weak, suggesting it could not bite very hard. This has been used as evidence for scavenging. Its teeth, on the other hand, are razor sharp and perfect for slicing flesh. Fast Jurassic Fact, huh? Episode 6 The Apatosaurus. The Apatosaurus was a large, long necked quadrupedal animal with a long, whip like tail. Its forelimbs were slightly shorter than its hind limbs. The Apatosaurus had a length of 21 meters, a height of 4.5 meters at the hips, and a weight of almost the same as the Diplodocus. The cervical vertebrae of Apatosaurus are less elongated and more heavily constructed than those of Diplodocus. A diplocid like Apatosaurus at the bones of the leg are much stockier despite being longer, implying that Apatosaurus was a more robust animal. The skull is small in relation to the size of the animal. The jaws are lined with spatulate chisel like teeth suited to a herbivorous diet. Fast Jurassic Fact Huh? Episode 7 The Monolophosaurus The Monolophosaurus is an extinct genus of Tetanuran theropod dinosaur from the Middle Jurassic Shishogu formation in now is what? Changjiang, China. Its name means single crested lizard. A nearly complete skeleton of a theropod new to science was discovered by Dong Ziming in 1981 during the static graphic exploration for the benefit of the oil industry. The Monophosaurus was 1.8 meters tall, 5.5 meters long, and it weighed around 455 kilograms. The holotype skull has a length of 80 centimeters. It is as such rather flat, but this obscured by the presence of a large snout crest occupying about three quarters of the skull length. Fast Jurassic Fact huh? Episode 8 The Brachiosaurus the Brachiosaurus is a genus of sauropod dinosaur that lived in North America during the late Jurassic, about 154 to 150 million years ago. It was first described by American paleontologist Elmer Samuel Riggs in 1903 from fossils found in the Colorado River Valley in western Colorado, United States. The Brachiosaurus had a size of 18 to 22 meters long, a weight of 62 tons, and a height of 9 Point five to 13 meters. One of the odd things about dinosaurs like Brachiosaurus is that their tiny brain skulls were only loosely attached to the rest of their skeletons and thus were easily detached by predators or natural erosion after their death. Fast Jurassic Fact huh? Episode 9 The Ceratosaurus The Ceratosaurus was a carnivorous theropod dinosaur that lived in the late Jurassic period. The genus was first described in 1884 by American paleontologist Othniel Charles Marsh, based on a nearly complete skeleton discovered in Garden Park, Colorado, in rocks belonging to the Morrison Formation. The Ceratosaurus had a length of 5.3 meters or 5.69 meters, had a height of 2 meters tall, and a weight of almost 1 ton. The most distinctive feature was a prominent horn situated on the skull midline, behind the bony nostrils, which was formed from fused protuberances of the left and right nasal bones. Fast Jurassic Fact huh? Episode 10 The Comsognathus The Comsognathus is a genus of small bipedal carnivorous theropod dinosaurs, member of its single species Comsognathus longipes. The Comsognathus could grow to around the size of a chicken. Comsognathus were small bipedal animals with long hind legs and longer tails which they used for balance during locomotion. The hands bore two large claw digits and a third smaller digit and may have been non-functional. Their delicate skulls were narrow and long with tapered snouts. The skull had five pairs of skull openings. 
the largest of which was the eye socket with the eyes being larger in proportion to the rest of the skull. That these were small and pointed, suited for its diet of small vertebrates and possibly other small animals such as insects. Fast Jurassic Fact huh? Episode 11, the Decreosaurus. The Decreosaurus is a genus of diplocid sauropod dinosaur that lived in what is now Lindy region Tanzania during the late Jurassic period. The genus is notable for the rather tall neural spines protruding from its vertebrae, which it is named for. Unlike most diplocoids, the Decreosaurus had a comparatively large head with a relatively short and wide neck. The neck contained 12 unusually short vertebrae likely indicating a low level browser of vegetation no more than 3 meters off the ground. The Cryosaurus also lacked the whiplash tail tip typical of diplosoids. The Cryosaurus had a length of 14 to 15 meters and a weight of 5.6 tons. Fast Jurassic Fact huh? Episode 12 The Gasosaurus the Gasosaurus is a genus of tetanurin pod that lived approximately 171.6 to 161.2 million years ago, during the middle of the Jurassic period. The first Gasosaurus fossil was discovered in 1985 during the construction of a gas facility, which explains the dinosaur's unusual name. The Gasosaurus measured between 3.5 to 4 meters in length had a height of 1.5 meters and a weight of around 150 kilograms. Most still credit Gasosaurus as being a member of the Cyraptoridae, the theropod group typified by the genus Cyraptor, which is a subgroup of the Allosauridae. Gasosaurus inhabited Asia and its fossils have been found in places such as China. Fast Jurassic Fact huh? Episode 13 The Tarvosaurus Fossilized remains of the Torvosaurus have been found in North America, Portugal, Germany, and possibly in England, Spain, Tanzania, and Uruguay. The Torvosaurus had a maximum body length of 10 to 11 meters, had a height of 3.1 meters, and a weight of 4 to 5 tons. The Torvosaurus had an elongated narrow snout with a kink in its profile just above the large nostrils. The frontmost snout or bone, the permaxillae, bore three rather flat teeth oriented somewhat outwards with the front edge of the teeth crown, overlapping the outer side of the rear edge of the preceding crown. The lacrimal bone had a distinctive lacrimal horn on top. Its lower end was broad in the side view. The eye socket was tall with a pointed lower end. Fast Jurassic Fact huh? Episode 14 The Brontosaurus the Brontosaurus is a genus of herbivorous sauropod dinosaur that lived in present-day United States during the late Jurassic period. The name Brontosaurus means thunder lizard. The Brontosaurus had a length of 27.4 meters long, a height of 8.5 meters tall, and a weight of 30.5 tons. No parasaurus skull was mentioned in the literature until the 1970s when John Stanton Mushlonsch and David Berman redescribed the skulls of the Podokes and Parasaurus in 1975. They found that though he never published his opinion, Holland was almost certainly correct in that a Parasaurus and Brontosaurus had a Diplodocus like skull. Fast Jurassic Fact huh? Episode 15 The Camptosaurus Camptosaurus is a genus of plant eating beaked Ornithian dinosaurs of the late Jurassic period of Western North America and possibly also Europe. The Camptosaurus had a length of 6.79 meters, a height of 1 meters at the hips, and a weight of 1 ton. The Camptosaurus is a relatively heavily built form with robust hind limbs and broad feet, still having 4 toes. Earlier reconstructions, such as those by Marsh and Gilmore, were based on the skull of Teotitalia and display an incorrect, more rectangular profile. The skull was in fact triangular with a pointed snout, equipped with a beak. Its teeth were more tightly packed in the jaw compared to the other Mersin ornithopods. Fast Jurassic Fact huh? Episode 16 The Kentrosaurus The Kentrosaurus is a genus of stegosaurid dinosaur from the late Jurassic in Lindy region of Tanzania. The name Kentrosaurus means prickle lizard. The Kentrosaurus has a length of 4 to 4.5 meters, a height of 1.5 meters, and a weight of 700 to 1600 kilograms. 
The Kentrosaurus was named and described by German paleontologist Edwin Hennig in 1915. Often thought to be a primitive member of the Stegosauria, several recent cladistic analyses find it as more derived than many other Stegosaurs and a close relative of the Stegosaurus from the North American Morrison Formation within the Stegosauridae. Fast Jurassic Fact huh? Episode 17 The Solidosaurus The Solidosaurus is a genus of herbivorous armored Ormishian dinosaur from the Jurassic of England. The name Solidosaurus means limb lizard. The Solidosaurus had a length of 4 meters, a height of 2 meters, and a weight of 270 kilograms. It was largely a quadrupedal animal feeding on low scrubby plants, the parts of which were bitten off by the small elongated head to be processed in the large gut. The Solidosaurus was slightly armored, protected by long horizontal rows of keeled oval scutes that stretch along the neck, back, and tail. Most experts agree that the Solidosaurus was among the common ancestors of Stegosauria and Ankylosauria. Fast Jurassic Fact huh? Episode 18 The Megalosaurus The Megalosaurus was an extinct genus of large carnivorous theropod dinosaurs of the Middle Jurassic Epoch of southern England and it was the first dinosaur to ever be discovered. The name Megalosaurus means big lizard. The Megalosaurus reached a length of 9 meters, a height of 3 meters, and an estimated weight of 1 ton. In general, Megalosaurus had a typical build of a large theropod. It was bipedal, the horizontal torso being balanced by a long horizontal tail. The hind limbs were long and strong with 3 forward facing weight bearing toes. The forward limbs relatively short but exceptionally robust and probably carrying 3 digits. Fast Jurassic Fact huh? Episode 19 The Cityosaurus The Cityosaurus is a genus of herbivorous sauropod dinosaur from the Middle Jurassic period, living about 168 million years ago in what is now Britain. The name Cityosaurus means whale lizard, because when its fossils were first found, they were thought to belong to a whale, hence its name. The Cityosaurus is estimated to have a body length of 16 meters, a height of 3 meters at the shoulders, and a weight of around 11 tons. The Cityosaurus was in 1842 the first sauropod from which bones were described and is the most complete sauropod found in England. It was so named because its describer, Sir Richard Owen, supposed it was a marine creature initially an extremely large crocodile and did not recognize it for any land-dwelling dinosaur. Fast Jurassic Fact huh? Episode 20 The Decenturus the Decenturus, originally known as Omosaurus, is a genus of Stegosaurian dinosaur from the late Jurassic and perhaps early Cretaceous of Europe. The name Decenturus means tail full of points. The Decenturus was one of the largest species of Stegosaur along with Stegosaurus, with some specimens have been estimated to reach 8 to 9 meters in length, 1.8 meters in hip height, and 5 to 7.4 metric tons. Although Dacenturus is considered to have the same general proportions as Stegosaurus, its plate and spike configuration is known to be rather different, as probably had both two rows of small plates on its neck and two rows of longer spikes on its tail. Fast Jurassic Fact huh? Episode 21 The Coralophosaurus The Coralophosaurus is a genus of large theropod dinosaur from the early Jurassic of Antarctica. The Coralophosaurus could reach a length of 6 to 7 meters long, a height of 1.8 to 2 meters, and a weight of 350 to 465 kilograms. Classification of Coralophosaurus is difficult because it has a mix of primitive and advanced characteristics. The femur has traits of early theropods, while the skull resembles a much later species of the clade Tentanuri like China's Cineraptor and Yangchanosaurus. The Coralophosaurus had a peculiar nasal crest that runs just over the eyes, where it rises perpendicularly to the skull and fans out. Fast Jurassic Fact huh? Episode 22 The Pterodactylus Pterodactylus is a genus of extinct pterosaurs 
it is thought to contain only a single species, Trodactylus antiquus, which was the first pterosaur to be named and identified as a flying reptile, and one of the first prehistoric reptiles to be ever discovered. Fossils of Pterodactylus have primarily been found in the Solnhofen limestone of Bavaria, Germany, which dates from the late Jurassic period. Pterodactylus had a wingspan ranging from 50 cm to well over 1 meter. It is likely that all fossils of Pterodactylus represent different stages of growth within a single species. The skulls of adult Pterodactylus were long and thin with about 90 narrow and conical teeth. Fast Jurassic Fact huh? Episode 23 The Volcanodon The Volcanodon is an extinct genus of sauropod dinosaur from the early Jurassic uppermost forest sandstone of southern Africa. The name Volcanodon means volcano tooth. The Volcanodon had a length of approximately 6.5 meters, a height of 2 meters, and a weight of 3.5 tons. Volcanodon's limbs were sturdy and column like, and its forelimbs were already proportionally long, reaching 76% of hind limb length. His lower leg, Metatarsus, and toes were shortened in comparison to its bipedal ancestors, but still not as short as in later sauropods. Its limb proportions were intermediate between those of its prosauropod ancestors and those of later, more direct sauropods. Fast Jurassic Fact huh? Episode 24, The Meragea the Meragea is a long-necked stegosaurid dinosaur and its fossils have been found in Upper Jurassic rocks in Portugal. Meragea has the longest neck known for any stegosaurian, which included at least 17 vertebrae. Some researchers consider this taxon to be a junior synonym of Decenturus. The Meragea has a length of 6 to 6.5 meters, a height of 2 meters, and a weight of 2 metric tons. The Meragea, like all known Stegosaurians, showed an array of plates and spikes consisting of skin ossifications or osteoderms. Pair triangular plates round down the midline of the neck, reconstructed as eight pairs. They were asymmetrical with a convex outer side and a concave inner side. Fast Jurassic Fact huh? Episode 25 The Atlasaurus The Atlasaurus hole type was discovered in 1981 and was described by Mont Baron, Russell, and Paquette in 1999. It was named after the location of discovery in the high Atlas range of the Atlas Mountains of Morocco. The Atlasaurus had a length of 15 meters, a height of 5.4 meters, and a weight of 15 tons. It was classified as a relatively primitive sauropod identified as a Cidiosaur when first discovered. Although, upon further study, Atlasaurus appeared to be closer to Brachiosaurus than any other known sauropod based on the detailed similarities between the vertebral column and limbs. Fast Jurassic Fact huh? Episode 26 The Ornitholestis The Ornitholestis is a small theropod dinosaur of the late Jurassic of Western Laurasia. The name Ornitholestis means bird grubber. The Ornitholestis was the first theropod to be discovered in the 90s. The Ornitholestis had a length of approximately 2 meters, a height of 91 centimeters, and a weight of 15 kilograms. Ornitholestis' head was proportionally smaller than that of most other predatory dinosaurs, but the skull was heavily built with a short snout and a robust lower jaw. The front teeth of Ornitholestis were somewhat conical with the reduced serrations. The back teeth were curved and more sharply serrated, similar to those of other theropod dinosaurs. Fast Jurassic Fact huh? Episode 27 The Camarosaurus The Camarosaurus was a genus of quadrupedal herbivorous dinosaurs and is the most common North American sauropod fossil. The Camarosaurus presented a distinctive cranial profile of a blunt snout and an arched skull that was remarkably square, typical of a basal macronarians. The name means chambered lizard, referring to the hollow chambers known as pleurocoils in its cervical vertebrae, meaning a vaulted chamber or anything with an arched cover. The Camarosaurus had a length between 15 and 20 meters long, a height of 4.5 to 7.5 meters tall, 
and it probably could have weighed up to 20 tons. Past Jurassic Fact huh? Episode 28 The Dorognathus The Dorognathus was a genus of Ramphorincid pterosaur that lived in Europe during the early Jurassic period when shallow seas flooded much of the continent. The name Dorognathus means spear jaw. The Dorognathus had a short wingspan of 1.5 meters and a relatively small triangular sternum, which is where its flight muscles attached. Its skull was long and its eye sockets were the largest opening therian. It had large curved fangs that intermeshed when the jaws closed, featured prominently at the front of the snout while smaller straighter teeth lined the back. Adding two or more morphs of teeth is a condition called heterodontis, is rare in modern reptiles but more common in primitive pterosaurs. Past Jurassic Fact huh? Episode 29 The Anchisaurus the Anchisaurus is a genus of basal sauropodomorph dinosaur. It lived during the early Jurassic period and its fossils have been found in the red sandstone of the Upper Portland Formation, northeastern United States, which was deposited from the Etangian Age into the Sinemurian Age between about 200 and 192 million years ago. Based on the four known specimens of Anchisaurus, Yates estimated that the animal measured up to almost 5 meters in length. Due to its primitive appearance, Anchisaurus was previously classified as a prosauropod, a member of a group of animals related to or ancestral to the sauropods. Recent investigations show that a group of traditional prosauropods form a monophyletic sister group to sauropoda and that Anchisaurus is instead closer to sauropods. Past Jurassic Fact huh? Episode 30 The Guanlong The Guanlong is a genus of extinct Proceratosaurid Tyrannosaurid dinosaur from the late Jurassic of China. The taxon was first described in 2006 by Xu Xing et al., who found it to represent a new taxon related to Tyrannosaurus. The name means Crown Dragon. The Guanlong had a length of 3 to 3.5 meters in length a height of 1 meter and a weight of 125 kilograms. In a recent study, Guanlong was found to be in a clay with both Proceratosaurus and Telescus. Together they formed the family Proceratosauridae with a clade containing Sinotoranus, Jura Tyrant, and Stokisosaurus. However, in 2014, another study was published in satisfying Stokisosaurus and Jura Titan outside the family, which only included Guanlong, Proceratosaurus, Telescus, and Sinotoranus. Sound it seemed to fight.